Hello, welcome back to my channel and I'm Bobby Lee. Today we're going to be talking about setting up your sewing machine. There are going to be four of these videos for the four categories I have introduced in the previous video. So today we are going to go on the electrical domestic tabletop machine at this, since it's the most common, one of the most common machines you might get hands on. I'll briefly take you through the parts and how to just set it up ready for sewing. It's going to be a very brief video, so stick with me and I'll see you after the break. Here is your typical domestic tabletop sewing machine and the parts are you have a hand wheel for taking a needle up and down. You have a stitch selector knob of some sort. You have a bobbin winder, upper thread spool, and a handle. You also have a tension knob, and you have some thread guides here where you pass your thread when you're threading the machine. And down here, you still have more thread guides, and your tension discs are in there. You have your stitches and stitch selector window. You have your reverse lever for sewing backwards a little. You have the arm of the machine. You have your third space here, which is about five inches in this machine. And you have your bed. The needle plate is here. You have your needle, your presser foot and presser foot holder. I'll zoom in closer for that. And then you also have an accessories tray that you can remove. You can keep your little accessories in here. And the bobbin, and there's a free arm, sorry, on this machine. The bobbin is a side loading bobbin and it's underneath the needle plate here. And finally, the presser foot, which is usually put on the floor. So now you have your needle. You can take that up and down. Underneath that are the feed dogs. Then you have your seam guidelines. And as I said, let's get a closer look. Your bobbin is underneath there and that is the bobbin case. This type of machine, you put your bobbin into a bobbin case like this and put it under the machine. At the back, we have a clearer view. You can see the upper thread spool. You can see another thread guide there and this is the lever for lifting your presser foot up and down. On the side, you have the hand wheel, you have the stitch selector knob and the on and off switch and the socket. Now to thread your bobbin, your bobbin is something like this and this is your main thread. Most bobbins have holes on top which help you to secure the thread. So now we're going to wind the bobbin. First place bobbin on the bobbin spool, the bobbin winder spool. Then place your upper thread on its own spool. Secure it with a cap so it doesn't fall out. Thread should come from underneath. Now we're going to pass the thread around a thread guide. Sorry, it's a little out of view here, but you pass it around the thread guide and then we'll secure it to the bobbin. You can wind it around the bobbin or you can pass the thread through one of those little holes to secure it. Just give me a second here. I almost got it. Yes, here we are. Now it's secure. You push the bobbin to engage it. I'm just going to hold on to the thread and I snipped the excess off and started winding. I'm pressing, I'm stepping on the presser foot right now. So we're just winding. Now you can wind till it gets full. The machine will usually stop on its own or I'll just stop here. It's just full enough. Snip the thread and pull out your bobbin and your bobbin is ready to use. Now I'm going to put the bobbin back in its case. What you do is make sure the thread is coming down the left side like a letter P. Just remember P for perfect. You just throw it in there, just push it in. It doesn't click or anything, just push it in. Now you see this little groove on the side. You're going to pass your thread through that groove. Like so. And pull it under that latch and it should come out of that hole or groove there. 
yes and if you've done it well you should be able to pull the thread as you can see so now your bobbin is ready to be inserted back into the machine and we do this with the pin up now I'm going to actually thread the machine we have a upper thread in place already now we're just going to pass it through the thread guides that you have on your machine they are usually diagrams it's nothing complicated just follow the arrows and go in the right direction mine just goes straight and around that thread guide then it's going to go down and around and back up and then I have a take up lever which I'm going to bring up here we go I'm going to pass it around that lever and go back down to the needle now at the needle I can pass it through one more thread guide here all the thread guides just keep your tension right and keep your thread from tangling and now my machine threads from front to the back let me see if I can quickly do that I'll put the presser foot down and pass the thread through the needle and here we go good here we go and just pull it out the back Now we're going to put the bobbin back in the machine. The pin should be up. Just open that little latch. Just leave the thread free. Open that little latch and it helps to, yes, push it in. Let the pin be up. There's a groove there. It doesn't click, but it will sit right. Just let the thread loose on the side and you're ready to pull the bobbin thread up. What you do is hold the upper thread, roll the needle down, just turn the handrail towards yourself till the needle goes down and comes back up and it should come up with the bobbin thread as you can see underneath. You might have to do it twice but most times you might get it the first time. And then you just pull it out and push it to the back and your machine is threaded and ready for use. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Next video coming up tomorrow, we'll go into the computerized sewing machine and how to thread that and how to set it up. Most sewing machines are very similar, but I want to break this down so that there's no confusion because they all have little differences. So thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.